Hey everybody, uh, what you're looking at here is the brake master cylinder for uh, a 1997 Buick Century. Uh, so you've got the master cylinder right here and it's connected, it's all one unit, to the ABS module here. See here you've got your brake lines where they're all connected and you've got some plugs, some sockets. I don't know exactly what it all goes to to be honest with you. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one over here. See, two and the one. And you've got one that plugs in right here to the master cylinder and the reservoir right there. So I'm gonna be showing you how to get this all off and take it apart. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, what I like to do is I start with this, it's a 15 millimeter there and a 15 millimeter, I don't know if you can see that down in there. There's one right, right there too. They both are exactly the same. This one on the uh, left side here is pretty easy to get to, but the one on the right is a bit more of a pain, so I'm gonna show you how to get to those. For the, for the one on the left that's easy to get to, I'm gonna be using just a, a socket ratchet. 15 millimeter we're gonna put that on there and you're just gonna turn it oh, make sure, make sure we set this right here we're gonna put this on there it's hard to do with one hand we're gonna loosen it it's just gonna come off and you're gonna sit there and do that Now it'll get to a certain point and you can just do it with your hands, loosen it up here. It'll come off. See? Looks like that. Let's see that right there. Now get to the other one where it is more difficult I'm actually using the 16 millimeter right here we're gonna use the closed in like that Let's see if I can show you here so we're gonna stick it down on there I've got it down but it's just real hard to see there and I'm just taking it and turning it ever so slightly Said, this is a 16 millimeter. I got it from Napa. I'm gonna take it, loosen that up. Now, once it's loose enough, you can, you've got smaller hands like I do. I mean, you can just take it and get it with your finger here. Finger, you know, loosen that up like that pull it off so once you've got all that you can go ahead and plug these okay you've got those two unplugged and get this one here plug this one now all these they have these little tabs here you're just gonna lift that up just pull this up to where it can slide off because it it's closed down there's a piece that slides through right there in that hole right there slides through there and closes it down so when you lift this up you're able to slide it off that piece there's one there there's one there make sure that's unplugged and there's one down here this one could be a bit of a pain but same concept you slip lift up this tab pull it out and that's what it looks like right there so now that all that is taken care of, you are able to slide this whole piece off these rods here. And that whole thing comes out. The last thing we have to do is loosen these uh, four brake lines right here. And this is the hardest part of getting this out of here, probably. Uh, so you're gonna take what I like to use, 
So you get these flare nut wrenches, open-ended, and uh, you're gonna, this one, I believe I got it from Advance Auto. Um, but I'm sure you can find them online. And uh, it's an open-ended flare nut. See, it ain't like your, it's not like your normal uh, wrenches. And you're just gonna take, slide it over here. See that? It slides over. And you're just gonna loosen it, okay? Now you might be able to loosen these with your fingers after you crack them loose, but I always have a hard time with them. So you're gonna have to get all four of those here. Like that. Now once you loosen all those, you're gonna be able to slide this out. Now once I get all these loosened, I'll come back and I'll show you how to pull off the ABS unit itself, okay? Okay, we're back. I got all these lines off here, and I've already pulled this uh, master cylinder off of off of those uh, rods there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just turn it, you kinda gotta finagle it out of there. Turn it sideways, see? And see if you can, give me one second here, I'm gonna have to do this with both hands. But you're just gonna turn it sideways be careful not to mess with the fuel lines there too much like I'm doing <laughs> and just pull it out all right one second and I'll show you what's next all right and we're back and this is what the whole thing looks like once you've got it pulled out I'm just there's probably gonna be some brake fluid that leaks that's just kind of part of it uh, uh, this is basically the procedure if you're just needing to replace your master cylinder so I just I wanted to show what this looks like because it is a bit more complicated than a lot of cars that don't have this attached to the master cylinder. So next what we're gonna do, since we've got all that off, there's these right here. See those? I'm not sure what size that is, but I'm gonna look for those screws that are gonna be able to pull that out. I've got some, I got this little set. I can't remember, I think I picked this up from Walmart. Uh, let's see which one fits here. Uh, it's too big. Uh, that'll do it. Okay, so you're just going to unscrew these right here, right here, and uh, I'll show you what we have when we get that done there, okay? So just wanted to show you what it looked like screwing these off here. Let's get that done. Let's set that aside. Let me get this one here. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Okay. Set that there. Now it's going to slide off. Just this cover here. Now. So you've got these gears here, and there's two more. One there, one there. I think these are different sizes. This might be bigger. So we're gonna get some, get us a bigger fitting here. Here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and get this this part here. This one, pretty tight. Okay, screw that. Set that aside. that one all right now this can be a bit tricky but basically your 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 first urge is gonna be to just pull this off completely but see right here this whole black piece right here is gonna separate from this right here so this this isn't coming directly off it's this part right here so see how that's coming out so let me take care of getting that off. I'm gonna to need to use both hands. And then I will go. Alright, here. here we are. So we're almost done here taking this apart. Got that black piece off that I showed you earlier. And now I've got this. I think this is a 3 8 Let me show you. Yeah, it's a 3 8 there. Okay. Take this. You're just gonna unscrew these. There's one. Oh, let's see if I can have a shadow. One there, and I've got the other one. It's right here. And you're just gonna unscrew it there. So let me take care of that because I don't, this might be. Oh, here we go. 
So we can unscrew that. You might see some brake fluid start to come through. Okay. Now these are these rods here. They're kind of, well not rods, but you know, they're sc screws basically. It's another one here. So once we unscrew those, you're going to see these O-rings. Make sure if you have some new ones, you put those in. Keep those intact. You do not want to lose those. You're going to have brake fluid going everywhere when you're trying to drive your car. It's not going to be good. All right. So next, we can separate the actual master cylinder from this ABS module here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. In a second, it just pulls off. Now you're going to see brake fluid. But here's the master cylinder. This is what, what you'd get when you just buy a master cylinder, okay? You're going to be confused. Because that's how I was. It's like, well, how am I supposed to replace it if it's got this big old piece attached? So it's a bit tricky getting this separated. But uh, I just wanted to show you how to uh, take care of that, get those separated so you can install a new master cylinder. All right. So this slides onto the, see these two holes right here, right here, these two, slide onto these pieces right here, these green ones. And that's just gonna sit on there like that and you're gonna push it back on when you're done. But what I recommend doing is if you're putting a new one on, Make sure you break, uh, bench bleed the uh, master cylinder. Um, there's tons of videos on YouTube on how to do that. I'm not gonna make one for that. It's a pretty simple process. You just need to make sure you get all the air out of that master cylinder before you put it back on and reinstall it into your vehicle because if you don't, you're gonna end up with a spongy pedal and it's not gonna feel like your brakes are responsive at all. And you don't want that. So, I just wanted to show you how to separate all this here. Like I said, it's gonna slide back on like that when you're done. But I just wanted to show you how to do all that because there's not really any good tutorials on YouTube. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.